All right, we're going to make a louver um, that curves. So to do that, I'm going to go to New, scroll down, and go to Generic Model Adaptive. Click Open, and it's going to open with the basic template. And I'm going to quickly change my background to white. Okay, you've got a level one and two vertical reference planes that we're not really going to use right now. I'm going to put five points out here. It's going to be a five point adaptive component. So I'm going to go to point element one, two, three, four, five. Go to modify to stop that creation command. Window around the points, make them adaptive. And then while they're selected, I'm going to go to draw spline through points and it's going to place a spline through those points and I'm going to come down here and while it's still selected make it a reference line by checking is reference line so that's going to make it a reference line so now I have a spline through all those points now the next thing I want to do is come in and host a couple of points this is going to be basically the same thing that I did on the louver straight so post a couple of points on this guy. So one there and one there. I'm going to pick this, go to reference line, and make sure that work plane is on and 3D snapping is off. Then I'm going to go to this guy, do the same thing, reference, reference line. Draw and work plane, 3D snapping off. Making, I'm also making sure that I'm going out with the blue alignment lines, so they're both starting from the same place. So now I'm going to pick that, make that dimension current uh, permanent by picking on the icon. Pick both of these and apply a parameter to them. Call that louver. Oops. width click OK and let's go ahead and make that a little bit more reasonable distance I'll do two feet click OK um, oop, and see that one flew off of there so it's a good thing to check things so we'll delete that one make that current draw a reference line again making sure that we snap to that point drawing out and repeating the process. So make that permanent. And let's see if this one works, see if I got it stuck on there this time. Looks like it's working, but just to make sure, I'll go in here um, and set it to something bigger, like four feet, and apply. All right, looks like it's working fine now. All right, the next is we want to make these be able to um, rotate. So I'm going to pick that point and hold down the control key and pick that point. And it's going to let me assign a parameter to the rotation angle of those. So I'm going to add parameter angle. Click OK. And we'll test those. Um, let's set an angle of, you know, 23. Apply. Right. And that one seems to be rotating, but this other one does not. So let's see if we just didn't get that one. So you see this one is not rotating. So I'm going to window around that. It looks like it didn't get the parameter assigned to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and... So now they're both rotating at the same. Now we can pick this, pick that, and pick that, and go to Create Form. And it'll create that little bit between. Right, so that right there. Now we want these points to go to the end of the line. So I'm going to select this point, go down, and right now that's the normalized curve distance. So it's 0.3 from the end of the line. So I'm going to click on that, go to Add Parameter, and go to Point Offset. Click OK. And then I'm going to pick this one and take a look at it. And it's 0.436. And I want it to go to the end, and I want it to be set to the same point offset parameter. So it'll change it a little bit. 
Now, if I go in to my Family Talks dialog box and I set this, whoops, set this to zero, hit apply, that's going to spread all the way down that line. Okay, so now we have um, control over the width of this, the angle, and it goes all the way down the line. So you can save it now and then we'll come back and place it on a divided surface.